Welcome back to Mac and PC Prime video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a cheap and easy way to get working AC Wi-Fi on your Hackintosh or Mac computer, running macOS Sonoma and Sequoia or Tahoe. This is the TP-Link TLWN 823N 300 megabits per second. Mini Wireless Network USB. It's a dual-band USB Wi-Fi adapter that's available on Amazon for around 499 rupees. This is a USB 2 adapter, so for best performance, it needs to be plugged into a USB 3 port on your computer. You can't plug it into a USB 2 port and it'll still work, but the speed will be reduced quite a bit as a result. As the Mac's support label on the box suggests, this adapter was compatible with Mac OS when it was released, with an official Mac driver available on the TP-Link website. However, the TP-Link drivers stopped working with the release of Mac OS Catalina, and they still to release a new one, but it is fully supported by the wireless drivers from Chris1111, which I'll link down below in the video description. This driver support Mac OS Tahoe, 26 works on Mac OS Sequoia 15, Mac OS Sonoma 14, Mac OS Ventura 13, Mac OS Monterey 12, Mac OS Big Sur 11, Go to the wireless USB Big Sur adapter GitHub page linked below and click on the releases on the right. This will bring you to the download page for the most recent version at the time of making this video. That's version V18. Click the link next to download to download the drivers to your computer, open your downloads folder and double click on the zip file to decompress it. Open the new folder that just appeared and right-click on the icon labeled Wireless USB Big Sur Adapter, then click Open. You'll see a message from macOS asking if you show that you want to open it. Click on Open again to start the installer. The first thing the installer will do is verify that SIP is disabled. If you have SIP enabled and you don't know how to turn it off, a link to an article on the Apple developer site that explains how, once the installer starts, click on continue, then continue again. Then continue a third time, and finally click install. Then you'll have to enter your macOS user password and click install software. You'll see a message from macOS saying that the system extension was updated, and you need to approve it. In System Settings, click on the button labeled Open System Settings, and you'll see a message under the Privacy and Security pane saying, System Software from Realtek Semiconductor Corporation has been updated. Click the Allow button in this box, and you'll be asked to your macOS password again. Enter your password. Click on lock, and then you'll need to reboot your Mac for the changes to take effect. Once you reboot, you'll see a new USB Wi-Fi icon has appeared in the top right. If you click on it, you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Choose the network you want to connect to, and then enter your Wi-Fi password. It's normal, and it should be connected us for speeds. I get around 72 megabits per second download and around 76 megabits per second upload. This is very good for 82.11 AC, which typically maxes out at around 300. In real world use. If you'd prefer not to disable SIP, then Chris1111 also has a notarized version of the driver that works with SIP enabled. I'll link to that one down in the description as well. Overall then, this is a very good little adapter for someone who has an older Mac with slower Wi-Fi, or for using with a Hackintosh. If you're thinking of picking one up, there'll be a link down below along with a link to the drivers. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.